Hello everyone, welcome to another MRCP Paces video. Today we are going to be covering the five key things you need to know to pass Paces. For those of you who don't know me, my name is Dr. Vishal Kumar. I am a doctor in the UK and I've set up this YouTube channel for your benefit based on my experiences and also keenmedic.com where you can find my course and my book. Just before we start, I want you to just pause the video for a minute, okay, and just write down in the comment section below what you think the five key ingredients are. Okay, do that now because it's important so that you can see uh, what your perspective, what your take is versus somebody who has done paces. So here are the five factors that I think are important. Okay, so the first one is the timeline. So it's all about preparation. I will be going through all five of these factors in more detail later down the line. So stay with me until the end. The next one is the partner. So your PACES partner is very important, as you can imagine. Next is the mentors that you have. So I'm hoping I'm one of them on your journey to PACES. You know, um, you also need many other mentors, just like your partners. Persistence. And lastly, but definitely not least, is the mindset, is the registrar mindset. OK, so let's start off with the timeline. First and foremost, it's all about preparation. It's all about planning. OK, you can't just go head on uh, with no plan in place and just hope for the best. You can't do that. You need to have a plan. Um, I planned about six to eight months in advance, and uh, this is how I managed to uh, get through paces and uh, succeed. Everyone who has ever succeeded in their lives at anything has made some kind of plan. Now, you don't have to plan every single thing because you do need to be flexible to an extent, but you do need a good, solid plan in place. You need a strategy. Okay, You need to identify your resources. These may be books, courses, uh, mentors, as I mentioned earlier, um, people who have done paces, anything and everything. You need to find your paces partners. We will be discussing this more in detail in a minute. And also, I would suggest that you make it visual. You make your plans very visual. So what I find is helpful is that if you have a calendar or if you have just a large sheet of blank paper, to map out your plan in front of you so that you can see your paces date, you can see when your courses are, you can see uh, when your practice sessions are, you can see uh, when your on calls are, when your trips might be, when uh, your children are having their concerts, when your picnics are, everything. Okay, so make it all visual and take into account your life events so that you're not um, surprised by anything that comes up. Your partner is probably one of the very most important things in PACES because PACES is very much much a social in uh, preparation. Okay, the, what I mean is that you need someone uh, who is with you at least for part of your preparation, if not more. Okay, so you need more than one partner because like everyone uh, in life, uh, so like all your different friends, everyone will have different things to offer. Okay, but the important thing is that everyone must offer something. So how you interact with every person is slightly different. How you get on with everyone is slightly different, right? So your compatibility will be different with everyone. How much uh, feedback and how critical uh, each piece of feedback you get or you give is going to be different for every person you uh, practice with, right? So also, uh, the kind of experiences are going to be different based on, you know, how whether or not they might have done paces before or uh, based on the experiences in terms of patient exposure they have had before or the tips that they have learned from other people before. So all of this, are, uh, all of this is different and it is key in your own improvement, which is why you need more than one partner in your preparation uh, and that's why I would suggest that you know you get uh, at least two to three 
paces partners uh, in your time, uh, in your preparation time, okay, if not more. In terms of your mentors, so these come in different forms, okay, so uh, first and foremost are the consultants or the registrars who have done paces or even better yet are paces examiners, okay, at paces centers. These are brilliant. Uh, however, they, they may or may not be uh, so good depending on when they did paces or uh, uh, what kind of compatibility you have with them because you know not just because they are registrars and consultants um, they may not be necessarily good teachers uh, so I would approach the consultants and registrars who are friendly who are good at teaching and who are examiners um, these are the three criteria that I look for they don't all have to be present but one of them has to be present okay so colleagues who have done PACES, PACES positive is that's what it means. They may already be in your own year, but because they've done PACES, they can obviously provide you with very valuable feedback and actually teach you. Um, just because they are in the same year doesn't mean that they don't know more than you. They probably do, which is why they have passed PACES. Okay? So I would suggest getting help from them as well. Courses, as always, are important. They do have their place. I would say that you do some kind of course in your preparation because they will boost your understanding, strategy, knowledge, everything. Okay, so face to face courses would be more like the uh, two days or four day paces courses where you get patient exposure. Online courses, I offer one of them, uh, so you can check out my course, which will be linked in the description below. So do go for it. It's uh, also got a free webinar in place, uh, so you can find out more about it. As much as Spaces is a um, knowledge-based exam, it is also based a lot on skill and uh, hard work, okay? So that is why I believe that consistency is more important than talent, okay? Um, you may find that some of the tal most talented uh, physicians, most talented um, doctors who are your friends, don't know, don't necessarily pass paces. Now, of course, it has got many factors, but one of them might be the fact that it is to do with the consistency. Their consistency with the preparation may not be there, okay? And that is why I think it is a marathon, not a sprint. That is what I tell all my colleagues, all my junior uh, colleagues, that you need to have a sufficient understanding of your limits and that you need to have a pace. You need to pace yourself, okay? You can't just uh, start and stop, start and stop all the time. You need to make consistent practice every week and not just, you know, uh, practice for two weeks and then stop for another, another two weeks. That's not going to do anything, okay? You need to practice every week. You need to put in hours every week and then build on your um, knowledge, experience, and skill every single week uh, in the build-up to paces. The other thing is that you need to be taking breaks. You need to take enough breaks because this is a long journey, okay? It's going to span many months. And if you're not taking enough breaks, you will burn out. And that is the last thing you need. Uh, if you burn out, then you will stop. You will crash. You will have a breakdown. That is not what you need, guys. Um, I have seen this happen. It is not a pleasant experience. It is not a good sight at all. So while you need to be consistent and while you need to be putting in the uh, hours and have regular meetings with your partner in order to put in the sessions you also need to be taking breaks you also need to be going for those um, chit chat over coffee you need to be going for uh, movies having picnics all of that okay you need to integrate your life into your paces preparation not stop your life altogether Lastly, I want to talk about the mindset. So these are the five C's that I think a registrar needs to have. 
these are the five things that your examiners will be looking for so first one is being comprehensive so this is all about knowledge so knowing the ins and outs of all the common conditions the investigations management presentation everything okay that's what it is all about so all of this comes from books and retaining information and being able to apply this knowledge the next c is being cautious so it's all about safety so you need to now apply the knowledge that you've gained in a way that you need to prioritize what is safe and you need to be able to rule out and consider the most acute uh, medical issues and be able to advise the patient and manage them appropriately. The next C is being caring. So there is no use in being um, comprehensive and cautious if you are a very blase uh, or a doctor who does not care. Okay, so the, the patient needs to be at the center of your consultation. They need to be uh, listened to. They need to feel that you care and your examiners need to see that you are a caring physician. You need to show compassion. Okay, so you need to ask how they're feeling, how they're coping, what their concerns are, address their concerns, uh, make sure you cover them up, etc. Okay, these are the ways that you can show your compassion. You need to be cooperative. Team working is vital as a registrar. Okay, this will be uh, relevant for delegating tasks to your juniors, but also um, interacting with the multidisciplinary team. All the referrals you, you receive, all the referrals that you will make. Okay, so your understanding of how teams work is important, uh, and this can only be gained through your experience uh, and also through different courses. I talk about this in my uh, course as well. So you are welcome to check that out and the last c actually i could have come up with one but it's actually just being fast okay so you need to do all of this the first four things but quickly okay so as a medical registrar you are going to have lots of tasks you are going to need to prioritize so you need to be able to perform tasks very effectively, very efficiently in a time sensitive manner. And that is what this is all about. So these are the five C's guys. Well, four C's and an F. I hope you found this useful. Come back to this in your paces preparation and share this with your friends. So my book is now live on Amazon. Do go and check that out. You will find lots of value from it. And of course my course, both of them will be linked down below. I will see you in the next video.